Hello guys, it's Jimmy here, and as you can see today we are at the uh, Twin Ring uh, Motegi, but we are not doing the, uh, the full circuit, the road course, we're actually going to do the oval, and it's going to be in the IndyCar Fix series. I was waiting for ages for this track to come up, because I, I, I knew it was in the schedule, and uh, I was really looking forward to driving it, and it's come up now, so um, I can finally do an oval race again, yeah! And I want to do more IndyCar races, because I actually quite like the... Uh, the Indy Oval series, but just not had enough cars, uh, enough courses to do it with. So, um, as usual, lots of practice done in this race. Um, I've on my own. I run around a um, about twenty nine six on my own. It can be. Uh, I think my best lap is a twenty nine four so far. But that was all on my own. There was no toe there. So I'm going to try and keep that kind of pace and uh, see how we do. Um, for, first and foremost thing is trying to get to the uh, next level of uh, oval. I think I'm a D license now. No, I am a D license now, in fact, and uh, really want to try and get into the uh, just just above that because it's kind of it, look, it looks bad on my uh, i racing resume. So um, trying to do better here. Now this 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 turn for I, I know I don't really like that much. Just kind of break going into it and be very careful on the front on the way out because that wall uh, comes up very quickly. Yeah, I can hear you. Don't want flat in this car. You want to try and go a bit higher than I have this time. i carry the speed through. You can tend to carry around 193, 194 miles an hour through there if you take the right line. And I avoid shifting into sixth when I am on my own on the track. When the others, I will probably try and do that. I've taken that wrong. See, the car just doesn't really want to turn in, and that wall gets ever closer, and your lap time's ruined. Some guy running a 29.4 already. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm pretty happy with how this car handles around here, so I'm not going to do many laps. Uh, let's get the stops, there you go. Yeah, I was actually asked today one of the comments, um, I forget who commented, if I was going to do more over races, and yeah, I am. <laughs> um, you commented at the right time. It's just that, uh, like I said, back to you. Um, I just haven't got the money at the moment to be purchasing the, the, the tracks, and I don't want to be doing too many series. I don't really like the uh, the stock cars that much, to be honest. Just the, the smashing into each other and uh, rubbing the racing. Well, yeah, it is to an extent, but um, not when someone's just you know taking you out. <laughs> I mean, but uh, I, I can't really say that. My only experience with the uh, the stock cars has been the Carburetta Cup, which is notoriously bad for everything. Um, so you know, this, this is why I kind of go towards the Indies. Let's have a look at the grid to see where it's starting. Oh, not, not a bad feel. Fifteen cars. Oh, some pretty quick times there. Um, so we'll try top ten. We'll try finish first. Ah, oh, that number eight car. I think it was the uh, he was in the race the other day in the um, the Grand Am. He was our uh, mobile chicane, as someone dubbed him. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't get in our way this time, shall we? I think he's. I think it might be more of an. Oh, someone had a big crash. To that uh, I think he's be more of an over racer because he was he was twenty laps down the leader in that race and it really wasn't too hot. Not post the time yet. Always a bit iffy. Yeah, this is this is definitely not a distraction for me packing. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> it's just so boring. Why just race? Now I always wonder what was on top of that bridge when I used to play this track and Grand Turismo Four. Now I know. Oh, phone. Put you on silent. Come on. And go. Best of luck, everybody. Thanks, Jimmy, you too. Everybody else, too. Yeah, it's definitely that guy. I remember the way he spoke. He used to, he was very, he was very polite, if not, if a bit slow. I don't like pulling away in these cars. The first gear is a bit, poof, and then you just end up in the wall to the right. So very, very slow pulling away today. How many laps? It's a 50 lap race, so shouldn't be too long. I want to try and stay out of that bottom. I've turned one. Um, I'll, I'll, well, when we go through it, I'll show you because we'll go through the pace car. I think it'll be to our right, but it's really bumpy at the bottom, and it's very easy to get down there and start bumping around and uh, 
Just getting it wrong anyway, so let's pull away and not go into a wall. There you go, marvellous. Yeah, you see here just on this is this is turn one and two here. You kinda of come in really wide then literally kinda of straight line the corner as much as you can. I think we will be starting in first gear. If we don't want to floor it, we'll just spin the car out. These cars are a bit deceptive that way. You you thought the hell oh, these have long gears, they go quickly. Oh no, first gear is still very track. very short. And that turn three is tricky though. Uh, it's hard to get the line right. Sorry. So uh, I said it was hard to get the line right. Okay, so we're starting on the outside, so we'd actually probably have a bit of an advantage going to turn one a little bit. It depends how um how aggressive the guy on our inside is. Like I said, going too far uh, inside in turn one tends to put you on the bumpy line. Try and get a good start, shall we? Watch that first place guy, and there we go. Oh, that's a bad start. Oh no, it wasn't. These guys all over the track. Go right on our inside. Hopefully, he knows we're here. Using that sixth gear now that he's got a toe. Not the ideal braking point in there, yeah, do you have to brake for that corner? Sit so relative on so we're getting live, keeping on our position. So we're going a little bit higher and then start coming down. I hit that bump, you see the bump there? Unsettles the car, lose a couple of miles per hour. Not that one at all. Being extra careful here because I'm going to end up going wide and that number two car might be on my outside No, just to carry some momentum I stay behind him again. So we're in eighth place now, pretty good start. So it's contact up ahead there, I'm a bit wary for a second. I want to start getting up the field a bit now. Hi. Braked a lot earlier than I thought he would. A lot of tire smoke. I think either someone's lagging a lot in front of me or there's a lot of tire smoke coming up, a lot of contact smoke, I'm not quite sure what it is. Let's try the inside, shall we? <laughs> Hitting that bump, that was very scary. Just getting into the um the draft of the car. Where's that car gone? Oh it disappeared, oh no, he's there, sorry. I find it very difficult to gain any ground at the moment. Ah, oh, this corner got all getting closer and closer. Ooh. <laughs> very difficult. I'm not dropping back though from this uh, pack. First and second look like they've gone off a little bit, which I kind of expected to be honest. Those guys are looking quite quick at the front. I'm not getting that run right either. Look at that entry. Guy hitting the white line in front of me, that's going to cost him dearly. Got to be careful, oh, there you go, so that's the pass tuck, that's uh, a seventh place for us. Right, let's take a better line this time, take it a bit wider before we start heading in. Still managing to catch that bump though. I saw it coming. Uh, running a bit wide there as well, just not getting it quite right. Turn 3 and 4 definitely my worst corners on this track. I'm not running anywhere near the pace I was running in practice, probably because of this draft in front, so not helping me through these corners. It's not helping me enough on the straight. That was a bit better. I felt better as well. It's 
time to pull away from the guy we just overtook behind us. About a second behind us now, roughly. So obviously we've got the pace over him, but we're actually starting to fall back a bit from this pack ahead of us. We need to start making advantage of this draft a little bit, trying to catch him up on these straights. Maybe the line's wrong. A bit too tight. Ah, that feels slow. Come on. Uh, no wrecks yet, or no cautions from what I've seen, so... Pretty nice clean race so far. I'm not sure if there are cautions in the old fixed one. You'll have to tell me if they are. Or if we'll probably find out later in the race if we're unlucky. I just can't get that corner right. It's going to you know, start frustrating me throughout this race, I think. I see, so I know I can run faster than this. We are catching this group in front, though. They're kind of fighting between themselves and sending me uh, just roll up behind them. One guy going very wide there. Well, should we hit the wall? Yeah, he's hit the wall. That's him out. Okay. So we, do have, we have got yellow flags. Um, we're quite lucky there, I think. Not to be involved in that. I'm not sure if there's contact or not. I wasn't really watching that far ahead. So I'm watching just where my line was. Which you really shouldn't do in over races. You should be looking as far ahead as possible. We're up to sixth now, so happy with that. Good start. I think that I may be on possibly for a, a podium here. Um, depends on the restart and depends on how I run for the rest of the race. Obviously, I think the first two are are, are gone. They're, they're they're quicker than I am, and even if I took them there, would find a way past again. But I think, judging on the pace, I've you know, I've, you know, I've I've caught up these guys slowly, but I have caught them up. Um, that I might be able to pull something on them. We will see. Just giving it very little throttle around, there's no point in giving it any at all. I'm not, I don't want to risk spinning the car. I'm not sure how much fuel these cars have. Um, in regards to that, let's have a quick look, shall we? Oh, we won't. Oh. Come on, keyboard. Oh, yeah, I forgot I changed the controls for this. Now, which one was it? So we've got 71 laps. Well, no, actually, no that, that kind of is, is a bit of a lie, actually, because that's uh, that goes up when you're when you're going slowly around the track. It's just, I think it's done throttle input rather than revs. Oh, I do love pace laps. I think we're going to be lining up on the outside again. Let's just have a quick one, two, one. Yeah, we'll be on the outside again, so... Um, hopefully we'll get a better start this time. We really did get left behind at the start of the actual race, so... Pretty sure this number 12 car is keen to try and uh, gain some time back on me as well. These guys are way classes, I feel like a bit out, out of my league here. <laughs> I really am very... Um, just, I'm just a rookie when it, when it comes to it, when it comes to over. I, I am d class just about, that's just from uh, my straight, this, the race of street stocks at Charlotte whenever they're on. Because um, you can just go around there, foot down, and pretty much win by hugging the bottom line. Um, it's it's a whole different kettle of fish when you get to this level. Obviously, people are a lot quicker. There are lines to take you. You know, sometimes there's braking, which I <laughs> it sounds very silly. Before, but when I before I even came to i racing, I had no interest in over racing at all. I had, I didn't know you had to brake in over. I thought you just uh, lift it off and went round. But yep, brakes there. And 
You learn something new every day. There you go, lesson, lesson take away from this one, guys. Don't say I don't teach you anything. <sighs> this was going to be alongside this number one car as opposed to alongside this number twelve car. I've got a feeling this twelve car wants his place back quite there, quite badly, and I don't really want to be alongside him at the start. Actually, yeah, I think I had a practice session with this guy in front, and I was slightly quicker, but that was only over a single lap, so I'm not going to draw any conclusion from that. I just don't want to be on the outside of anyone on turn three. That's 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 the bad thing. One minute forty point zero three three. That's a long lap. <laughs> Considering it's only twenty nine and a half seconds usually. On a good lap anyway. At least here we've got a good view of the um Guys in front, I'll keep a, keep an eye on that. Uh, car at the front on the left, he's first place, he sets the pace. He says, We go now, we go. Uh, the prize these guys are weaving, as you know, it does nothing. I'm just gonna get behind this guy, but I don't want to get dropped behind. Start putting it in a more competitive gear, shall we? So if careful, I'll be a bit disastrous. Fellow UK and I in front of us. Give him a wave if I could. So we start in first gear, we be careful for line, we don't smash it straight away. And there you go. Fair decent start, so we jump the guy to the left of us, that's good, that's what we want. Not going to get down the bottom just yet. Back to our favourite fifth position. Jesus, he's aggressive. Come on, why don't you turn to someone once already? You want to calm down a bit. I'm not sure if I'm damaged though. I could get knocked across the track, but I've seen him do that to someone before. We're not out of the race though, which is, you know, the key thing. He was going wide, nowhere to go. And just it's planned just to use me as a break, I think. Don't know if he's damaged or not, though. I kind of hope he is. He deserves to be. Oh dear, that was terrible through there. Come on. My car's damaged or not, I'm trouble keeping up with these guys at the moment. Well, they turn three and four, when it, if that's where all the time is, if I can get through there properly, I've done a chance of catching people. Someone going very wide at the top there, you can see him right in the uh, in front of us. Uh, but I uh, distracted a little bit by that and I uh, set the corner a bit slower than usual. Uh, hitting that bump, disastrous, don't want to go any wider than that. Really slowed me down through there.
I get a better run than that 12 car through there. So the car we passed before. See if we can do it again, shall we? Ah, oh dear, not another blinker, please. to break a bit more than I wanted to through there. You can really see the gap just increase again in front of me. Damn it! I'm just to downshift there. Look at that time I've lost. Let's get, get back into rhythm again. A second, I think we are damaged slightly. We were running fast in that 12 car before. We need much better pace as well. Ah, dear. You, you know when you're. Halfway through the corner, if you're going to go wide or not. Oh, damn it, this is so annoying. Just steadily falling back. Oh, I gave the guy an amount of room and he still managed to come across on me. Oh, that's just not the way to do it, is it? Big wreck at the front, it seems. Well, that makes up a couple of places, but not how I wanted to do it. I'm surprised that wasn't number one the way he's bumping around. So where are we now? What's the question? Um, well, I thought we were in seventh. Let the debris car by. Pit road is now open. And the free car was damaged. And Still going, there he goes into the pits. That's a good shout out, Jenna. Take the pit stop. So we aren't damaged, so... I might as well try something at the moment, because the current pace I'm just not cutting it. New tyres might be the way to do it. I have to work out my controls then, because they're all different in the IndyCar. I remember I set them properly for the Indy 500. Catch the 15 car. So I think well, we're back in ninth now. We've not really lost that much time. A lot of people have uh, kind of dropped out. Let the 15 car by. Hmm. I'll put skips in here for people who don't want to watch the uh, the cautions. I know they're not the most interesting thing in the world. <laughs> yep. Okay, I expected that to happen. 
We're going to have clean tyres now. So we're going to be quicker than people around us who haven't bothered to pit. How much quicker? I don't know, but should be quicker. We're actually seventh place. We're literally we we um we came out. We that doesn't make sense. Do people pit with us? So got another victim of net code above us. Bad luck. My my pit stop was quite late though. <laughs> Okay, I didn't get any kind of penalty for that. It wasn't the, the cleanest pit stop in the world. This net code really pisses off already, actually. And then the guy's going to try and bend that code. I'll, I'll stick a replay of the uh, IR incident at the end of the race and we'll see what it was. Number 12 car works way up to 5th now, so obviously he's had a good second stint. We're still in it though. I thought we were damaged, but we're not. So um, maybe it's a, a mental thing. Happens sometimes, you think you're damaged, you actually do you drive slower, just uh, subconsciously. You don't have as much confidence in the car. Seven nurse will be starting on the inside this time. Because I was closed. Oh, Australian guy, I wish I knew you. Is it the same guy from NASCAR 2003? If anyone knows that, please tell me, because I've, I've heard the spotter on that and they sound very similar. Someone's spin coming out the pits. <laughs> it looks like it, look at his tire marks. Oh, Mike, stop blinking, please. Don't like blinkers and over racing. They scare me. I'm not too worried about um, losing a place at the start off again. I want to I try and use this tire advantage as soon as I can, but I don't want to get into an incident. Restarts are quite an easy place to get tied up if you're not careful. Watching that guy on the uh, front left again, he's our first place man. He goes, we goes. He goes. Fantastic English by me there. The pace car is in. Can't really see him. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. Bit of wheel spin there, but we're away. Very good launch. Here's a grip of those new tyres. Oh, outstanding grip, but nowhere to use it. Gotta take advantage of this early on. Oh, that 12 car blinking. Oh, well, very close. Close than I wanted to be there. Gonna lose a position now, but it's not so bad. Still in the race. Mike, you're blinking an awful lot now. Oh yeah, just pushing me out a little bit. So back into sixth place now.
Didn't want to do that, but just had so much more speed. Nowhere to go. That number 12 car now is falling back. Not too bad through there. Closing on this fourth place man now. So we get our place back. It was our first. Be a bit careful on the throttle going through there, don't want to go into the back of him. Doing some fairly quick laps now. Tyres in the draft helping out immensely. Ah, getting wide there, though, goes a bit of time. Might mean we have to get a better run than him through here, but you just have to kind of break to avoid him slightly. Not this time, though. Oh, do that, that's wide. But that number one car is now falling back into us, so the podium is still on. That bump. Every time. Don't seem to learn. <laughs> We're rocking away from the guys behind us now. One and a half seconds between us and them. Still on fresher tyres, I've still got the advantage. Oh, really close. Again, nowhere to put it though. He's sitting on that bottom line, which is the fastest way through that corner. That number one car's coming to the mix now. Another variant, that's what we like to see. Try to catch the draft for this one car. Give me some kind of way through. I have to work the wheel a lot now. Being in this dirt, yeah, isn't helping the cornering. Ah, oh, having to get off the throttle a bit there. Need to get through there perfectly. If I get a good going through there, I'm, I am faster. I can I can make the pass. Not this time. I'm not. <laughs> Car sliding there on the exit. Keeps things interesting. Too close. I had to lift out of that a little bit. It's probably going to cost me. Come on. Ah, too. Too much on the entry that time. I'd almost stand the brakes. Come on now. I think it's time to heart up now. I'll watch these guys. He goes very wide, come on. 
Don't want to hit that white line though. I'm not going to push him out for no reason. Can't get this, can't let this number four guy get away. Because he will. I don't know why I dab the brakes, that really cost me. A little bit nervous, I think. Look at that. It's... Oh dear, come on. No, too wide. No, I at least one fourth. I don't want to finish fifth again. That's the run we need. Having to lift a bit of the bump and settling the car. God damn it. Didn't want to do that. I have to drop back now. I don't want this at all. Come on. Thank Just track on the car as much as I can. Much faster through there again. Which was the fastest lap of the race as well. Far too uh, shallow on the entry. Completely wrong. That's probably going to cost me the place now. Last lap. Now or never. Nah. Uh, break far too early for that. I should have just run around with him and tried to get the. Uh, the exit, we are going to be faster, but it's not going to be enough. Well, fifth place again. This seems to be our place recently, but... After having the contacts at the start and uh, staying in the race, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a shame we couldn't make better use of these tyres, though. So, oh well, next time.
Alright, let's have a look at the, uh, the placings then. See, we, we we placed fifth out of 15 cars. Uh, only nine finishes, it seems. Um, bit of a shame that we had that contact right at the start, but it's, it's not so bad. We, we kept it going. We had no damage, but I kind of dropped a pace a bit after that, but I think we could, we could have maybe um, overtaken the uh, number one car and have fourth there. Um, still, though, um, pretty happy with the result, and yeah, I think that's about it for today. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time. Have a nice day.